Hello YouTube. I uh, decided to make a video to uh, do a real time in the minute or in the second uh, comparison of the uh, estimated daily earnings between running Nighthash and running Windminer. So here you see I currently have, this is on my uh, uh, GTX 960. It's currently running you can see uh, here it's running a dollar thirty two uh, per day using uh, Equihash. Okay, now the comparison, uh, well, I'll get it to in a minute. So let me show you. I'm going to stop this here and let's see, where are we? I'll stop this, show you my, there's my G GTX 960. Okay. And then we're going to go over here and start up Windminer. Okay. So. Let's see what this is going to do. ETA. Uh, for some reason, it always tries to do uh, Ethereum, which I don't have enough memory in my graphics card to do that. It's a. Uh, had a break there, so it stopped uh, and got an error because uh, I'm out of memory trying to do Ethereum, so it switched over to Zcash. All right, and you can see that over here it's doing Zcash on uh, Windminer. So in a minute here it should tell you how much it's making. It takes a minute to uh, refresh. There we go. So it's doing 169 hashes per second for a dollar three per day. Now, granted. Uh, there is some apples to oranges comparison in here. So Windminer is running a different algorithm than uh, than NiceHash, and uh, also the estimates are their estimates. And uh, I have no way of verifying really how accurate those estimates are. Uh, so the other thing would be to take a look at the payouts. So let's go back to uh, Windminer here. Okay, would be to look at the payouts, but uh, both uh, apps have a certain amount of minimum requirements to do a payout, so it's somewhat difficult to, uh, I'd have to run one for three days and then the next one for three days, and over that time, of course, the dollar amount of the estimate is also a function of fluctuation in the conversion rates uh, into uh, dollars of whatever it is you're mining, so it's a little hard to get a really accurate comparison. But I can tell you that from my experience of doing, of watching both uh, for several weeks since NiceHash came back online, is that yes, generally NiceHash does earn more than uh, Windminer. Um, it's not just a little bit, it's usually like maybe 30% more. Uh, and that's both on the estimates and on the actual payouts. Uh, I guess I keep track of my payouts. Uh, and compare them and see which one was getting from when minor, which one from nice hash, and they are different. And nice hash does appear to be better. So I know a lot of people are uncomfortable about going back to nice hash after the hack, and that they lost money. Uh, but with their new, uh, with nice hash's new approach, where there's no fee to transfer out of your nice hash wallet to Coinbase, and I have a Coinbase wallet. Um, and they only acquire 0 0.001 Bitcoin, which is approximately plus or minus $15. So I'm willing to risk $15 to transfer it. Although, though, actually, I think they recently just raised it to 0 0.002. So I'm really risking $30 if they get hacked again. That's not a huge amount. And given the differential between the two apps in terms of performance, I'm willing to go with with uh, nice nice hash here. The only other thing I would comment on is that uh, the uh, the screen refresh and my cursor uh, lag time uh, differs significantly between the two applications. Uh, when I'm running, uh, when miner switched to uh, to 
NIST 5, and then it gets really laggy when it's running NIST 5. So in those circumstances during the day when I actually want to use my computer, I actually run WinMiner uh, on my machine I'm using, turn off uh, uh, NiceHash until I'm done doing whatever I want to do on the computer, uh, and then uh, start it back up, start niche, uh, start the niche hash, nice hash <laughs> uh, back up again. So, and I've still got my dedicated rig running nice hash, uh, 24 hours seven. So, I uh, still use both of them, but um, not to win miner anywhere near as much. So, I hope the comparison helps and you find that useful. <laughs>